Praise God, precious folk. This is your quintessential servant, the Holiness Revivalist, Reverend Kingsley George A.J. Ajiman, Senior Pastor of House of Consecration Ministry, Accra, Ghana. Now, in the book of Mark, chapter 12, the verse 31, the Bible said we should love our neighbor as ourselves. The Bible never said you should love your neighbor more than yourself. I'd like you to take cognizance of that emphatic categorical statement from the scripture. He said, love your neighbor as thyself. You know, the greatest relationship you can have on this earth is not relationship between you and other people, but the relationship you have with yourself. And in the last 20 years, having worked with God, I've discovered in the kingdom of God and in our churches, there are many folks who despise who they are. And, and in the process, they focus so much on their faults, their blunders, their fiasco, their shortcomings, and their failures. Sometimes they wish they were taller. Sometimes they wish they were smaller. Sometimes they wish they were curvy. They wish they were busty. Sometimes they wish they were even muscular. You know, they wish they had some kind of superior or flawless personality. And in the process, they neglect the fact that they are, they are God's masterpiece. And not just that, but they are also made in the indefatigable likeness and image of God himself. This year, I want you to do yourself a favor. I want you to do your family a favor. I want you to do your loved ones and your friends a favor by loving yourself. Accept who you are. That's the more reason why this year, don't surround yourself with people who tolerate you. Surround yourself with people who celebrate you. And 2023, don't tie your happiness to a man or to a woman. Tie your happiness to an objective. Tie your happiness to some kind of holy grail or some kind of goal. Listen, happiness is free. Be happy this year for nothing. Go out, buy yourself some Gucci bag, buy yourself some Louis Vuitton, and I pray that God will give you the requisite financial grace to make yourself happy. It's very, very important. Is it not ironical that sometimes in life, People who will not criticize others, people who forgive people cheaply, are very hard on themselves. They criticize themselves, they will never forgive themselves. But this year, I want to entreat you. If you really want to get along with other people, you must really get along with yourself first. Love yourself first so you can love other people. And I'm praying that this week, God will give you unusual grace to truly love yourself and enter an unimaginable season of financial blessing and of course, un unimaginable testimonies. I love you so much and I'm praying for you that your week will be very fruitful. God bless you. Shalom. Shalom.